This is a cracking little starter. These are Thai fish balls. For fish cakes, we need to take white fish and mix it with some Thai paste and then bleed it up. And then we're going to add lime zest, some green beans and spring onion. So loads of flavour into those. And we're going to serve it with a dipping sauce of fish sauce, sugar, lime and coriander. Okay. Okay, so it's a pretty speedy one. To start off with, our fish. Now, this is cod, but the key here is you can use any white fish. Fresh or frozen. Okay, okay just defrost it. But we're not going to add any extra potato or anything like you might do to uh, a fish cake we would have in this country, which is packed out potato and then a bit of fish. This is pure fish. Are we doing cakes or balls? Balls. Balls. Fish balls. Fish balls. So really roughly chunk that up. Yep. It doesn't have to be much because it is going to go into our blender. And then we're going to add in our Thai red curry paste. So a bit of a cheat, but it's got all the spices and flavours in there already. The only thing we're going to add to it is extra lemongrass because I love it. Lemongrass is in every single Thai dish I know. Yeah, it's one, well, not every dish, but it feels like it. It's an amazing flavour, so fragrant. I think we had a lot of Thai dishes, didn't we? It's a very fragrant one. Yeah, loads of Thai dishes. Such as? Uh, pad Thai, beef massimum curry, yep. Thai rice pudding. We've also done... We've done a lot of Thai, that's a bit too much. Thai, thai green curry with chicken. We do do other foods apart from Thai as well, just to eat Thai. Flavours from all around the world. Next up, we're going to blend up our fish to a paste. <laughs> And you want to work the fish protein, because that's what makes these cakes kind of chewy. That's our smooth fish paste, which goes into a bowl. And now we can add in some bits for texture and crunch and to colour. To it. Yes, to make it even better. So, we've got some green beans. Yep. If you can just take those, and we want pieces like that. Okay, you can cut can do that. multiple at a time, but that's cool. I'm going to add the zest of three limes. So they're really quite citrusy. They're spicy, because we've added in that curry paste, but they're also fresh and citrusy. Over here, I'm going to do the same with spring onions. So some nice small pieces, but that's texture adding to our fish puree. What's great about this is you're keeping that texture. So you're not overcooking the beans. Yeah. They will cook in the fried mixture because they're small balls, mm -hmm. but you still got that crunch. Okay. They go into our fish mix, along with my spring onions, and then mix the whole thing up with a spoon. You might even need to get your hands in there to help with the paste. It's quite stiff. This feels healthy, is it? Well, there's loads of white fish in there. We are going to deep fry them, so not particularly but they have also got some fresh vegetables. You've got some of your five a day in there. Yes. Last thing to add is one egg. Mix that all in, and then it starts to get a little bit more sloppy, but that is an amazing fish mix. So why is that so amazing? It smells good, it's got great texture, it has that sort of authentic, chewy fish cake mix. Do we need flour now to... Nope, them? these go straight into our fryer. We've got a fryer at 180 degrees, and then you want just little balls, like... A little bit smaller than that. And that's it, heaped teaspoons of the mixture. They don't need to be packed down quite as tight as that, although you can do for okay. a presentation, but actually you can just put heaped teaspoons into the fryer, lower them in, and give them about three minutes to cook and bubble away. The oil is just below 180 degrees. Now we want to know what your favourite Thai dish is, and then go to the website and search for it. You never know, we might have done it already. And if we haven't, then we want to hear from you. You need to let us know which ones we haven't done so that we can add them to our menu for this year. While we wait for those to cook, we're going to make a very simple, very, very quick, speedy dipping sauce. Fresh coriander, two tablespoons of caster sugar, Sweet. one tablespoon of fish sauce, Ooh. so twice as much sugar to fish sauce. It's quite a big tablespoon, but that's fine because we're also going to put the juice of three limes. So if you can squeeze all of that in there. So you've got sharpness and acid from the lime, you've got the sweetness of the sugar, the fish sauce, and the coriander. That gets clamped on and blitzed up, and then we have a very simple dipping sauce. The only thing we need to add is a little bit of garlic. Which you obviously forgot. Which I nearly forgot. Is it Charlie? Ch Charlie? That's not, is that a Charlie? Uh, if you can do some very thin <laughs> slices of Charlie, chilli, because that's just decoration at the end. But garlic going in here. Taste of that and see what we think. Sweet, Please. lime, salty, and fish sauce. Shock. But then at the end, it works. And that's it, as speedy as that. Very tasty Thai starter. Some of our fish balls. We can obviously make plenty more on that lovely golden colour. Oh, wow. And they shouldn't be perfectly round. Yeah. But they can be. Okay, so we've gone for rustic, but you can make them very perfect if that's what you're after. And there's our dipping sauce, beautiful green colour, fragrant, sharp, sweet, yeah. salty, all in one. Put some of your beautiful chilli on top. And there we go, our version of Thai fish cakes with a dipping sauce of lime and coriander, sorted. Okay, 
I'm gonna try these then. Dip them in here. Wow. Well, oh, that's sharp, isn't it? Mm. Really tangy because of the lime. Mm. I just love the spongy texture of the pure fish cakes. Mm. They are a fantastic starter. Real finger food, great for picking at, or to accompany any of the other Thai dishes that we've already done. Can we make some more? You guys have got to give this a go. And upload your photos to Instagram and hashtag sort of if it's really rude to talk my mouth for, I'm very sorry, but make sure you do that, okay?